Community Hotline is made possible with generous support by Quick Lane, located at Gresham Ford. Life is better in the Quick Lane, now serving all makes and models, foreign and domestic. And by the Mount Hood Cable Regulatory Commission. The Mount Hood Cable Regulatory Commission advocates on behalf of the public interest on communications policy issues at the local, state, and federal levels. And welcome back to Community Hotline. I'm Monica Weitzel. We're here in Gresham at Metro East Community Media, and we're going to close out tonight's show talking with the Seroptimus. This is the Seroptimus of Westland and Lake Oswego, or Lake Oswego and Westland. That's right, right? Yes, Lake yeah. Oswego, Westland. I always forget which way it goes, but either way, it's great to have you back on the show. And Don, you are the um, fundraising co-chair for an event coming up, yes. Don Christensen Cuellar. And um, weren't you also like uh, the Grand Poobah or something of the Seroptimus? <laughs> No, <laughs> I was, uh, I'm immediate past District 2 director. Yes, yes, that's, <laughs> I can remember no what that, you know. involved. Yeah, that, no poobah involved. No poobah. I think it was a regional conference, so mm -hmm. it's really nice to have you here. Thank you. And Pam, you've before a few I times, have. and it's really nice to have you back. And Thank you. And you are the a past club president, and you are the other chair. The, so you, you two We like raising this, uh, fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, you know what? Who doesn't like fun? Mm -hmm. And you do a really good job of it. <laughs> so um, you are also Sir Optimus, and as People have tuned in since the very beginning of the show. We um, there's this optimistic aggression. We talked to you. You're over in Westland and Lake Oswego. It's the same mission. It's the same, basically the same work. We we run into each other often and and, and collaborate on things from time to time. And um, and it's some pretty important work. Um, but tell me, you you uh, your club. Every club is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. How how is your club different? You you do different fundraisers. You do. Uh, tell me tell me how it's different. I'd say we're different. Uh, at first glance, we're different because we're the youngest in the area. Uh, we're only seven years old. Gresham is celebrating their 40th birthday. <laughs> so, right. I thought so she was going to tell one. me that you were all younger than all of us. <laughs> no. <laughs> just no. the club. Yeah, and just I think, the club. I think whatever perspective each of the members brings mm -hmm. uh, as part of their volunteer membership, that's what helps create the synergy for whatever our fundraisers are going to be. Right. We all support the Seroptimus dream programs mm -hmm. and the Seroptimus mission, um, but how we go about doing that in the venues to raise uh, funds uh, differs according to everyone's personalities right. and talents Which and the communities. It's more fun anyway because it you does. Know, do what you enjoy doing and, and what your talents, you know, bring your pool you can come up with. Mm -hmm. So you've had different fundraisers in the past or fundraisers. Um, this year you have a new one. We do. So, so tell me about this. What, what's it called and when is it going to take place? So it is the Casino Royale Extraordinaire. We Ooh. are putting on a night of casino style gambling with Wild Bill's Casino, providing the, the dealers and they will be teaching everyone along the way. Uh, so if you want to come and practice your roulette or your craps or your blackjack before you go hit the big time, this will be yeah. a very friendly, safe environment to right. do so. Right. It's going to be Saturday, October 14th at the Grand Hotel at Bridgeport. I think we have some pictures and maybe, um, oh, it's maybe gorgeous. they can bring those up because, yeah, the, uh, I've never seen that hotel. I don't know why, but I've never seen it. But I saw it in the picture. It was like, ooh, that it's looks right really nice. It's right off of I-5 yeah. um, well, then I next to the Claim from, Jumper. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. well, I've seen it from... Okay, but it looks yeah, really beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful inside. Yeah, so, okay, cool. there's and that. And we there's are going hotel. to dress that up uh, with, uh, we have life-size James Bond cutouts. I love it. That we are going to be decorating in the facility. Um, there's going to be a lot of in entertaining aspects of the fundraiser. I'll be fun. I, everybody loves James Bond. Everybody <laughs> loves that. I mean, that's just a great character anyway. So can people, like, you know, put on their persona? You know, I can be, right? you know, really smooth and debonair. And Yes, we also know. have Bond women. Yes. yes. Two. Ooh. Oh, yes. the Bond women. Diana Rigg, who was uh, also in the original Casino Royale. Royal oh, Royal. Wow. Oh, okay. And then we have Anna Honor Blackman, Blackman, Pussy Galore from <laughs> The Goldfinger. <laughs> the best things. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so, now, what is this picture from? 
So this is from Wild Bill. So this is okay. Um, they they provide the tables, the um, they provide everything the, as part of the everything. Gambling, right? Yeah, we don't need exactly. to worry about a thing. We just um, invite all of our guests, uh, arrange for some food, arrange for some beverages, and we have got some fantastic prizes. Uh, Twenty prizes to be distributed across the top winners of the evening. So tell me how this works. I, I, I've been to a, uh, an event before where Wild Bills, uh, so it was so much fun. But you're not playing for cash like you would work in this event. How, you know, do people um, pay a certain amount to be part of it? I mean, um, you know, you can go to your website for ticket information. Yes. But, um, and, then, and then you get like so many chips or so many, how, exactly. how does that work? Exactly. So uh, once a person purchases a ticket, mm -hmm. that ticket comes with a, a dollar amount of gaming script. Okay. Once that gaming script is used, they have the opportunity to purchase more gaming oh, script, okay. which is okay. another part of the fundraiser, yeah. bringing in more cash for okay. our our own programs. So during the evening, they can play either Texas Hold'em tournament or the High Roller Blackjack tournament, which has cash buy-ins, and then they get a, a, a number of chips that. A, a quite a bit of chips that they go do. with mm -hmm. uh, the buy-in price, so that's uh, fun. So tally up the number of chips and mm -hmm. script that everyone wins along the way. Rake it all Just in. rake <laughs> it all in, count it up, and then um, the person that, if, I, if I'm correct here, mm -hmm. the person that wins, that has the most script, will get their choice of the 20 prizes. Oh, nice. Now this includes um, a weekend in Las Vegas oh, wow. with a travel voucher. That's, it yeah, includes that's, that's um, a shabby, weekend at Little Creek Cove, Ocean out on the View, Ocean oh, View out right. on the coast, right. and then we also have a mountain retreat um, at Collins Lake. At Collins with Lake, two ski lift tickets. Wow! Yeah. Right? Those are really good. Yeah, right. Yeah, those are good prizes. Yeah, but you said you have like twenty, so there's even more there after that. Are. Yes, that's, those are pretty impressive. Something mm -hmm. for everyone. Yeah. Yes, well, we'll that have. sounds like fun. We'll so, um, you know, I know a lot of people. Are very nervous about gambling if they've never done it. You right. know, then people say, "Well, I'm not a gambler," but you don't have to be a gambler to no. to enjoy this. If, you know, it's I, I know that um, when I went to one event before where they did where Wild Bills was there, they they like you said they they teach you. Mm -hmm. You know, so exactly. so if you've never played, I've never played roulette before because I've got into a casino. So like, I don't know what to do with mm -hmm. you. Exactly. And, uh, so other people are just as yeah we have to novices and just as green as that's as right. Else. Ease out that. Yeah. It's a good intimidation. Well, it's exactly. a good way to um, to try other things that mm -hmm. you know. So if you ever do actually go where you're, you know, spending money that you could lose right. significantly. Mm -hmm. um, and the beauty of it is we we know that there are going to be people there who do play seriously, yeah. and they will put on their sunglasses and their poker face, and, <laughs> and they will they will teach by example yeah. over time at the table. Not that they're going to be you know intimidating, but they are right. going to have a, a great well, they'll time. Help. They'll enjoy helping other exactly. people. Exactly. So. And the exactly. thing is, nobody loses because if you lose all your script, you given it to a worthy cause. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So there's no, no loss yeah. there. So there's going to be food. Yes. Yes. Okay. Heavy hors d'oeuvres. Heavy hors d'oeuvres. Yes. That's my favorite kind. They're lovely. <laughs> you can make a dinner the out of heavy The choices are hors lovely. Yeah, that sounds good. Yes. The desserts, a yes. sweet bar. Yes. Yes. Mm, yum. That sounds we'll wonderful. We'll have a poll. So there's a dollar amount to buy into a, that. So you, what is, how does that work? The wine is, uh, it's hidden. So it's in a bag. You, you you pay a certain dollar amount and then you pick a bag oh, and, so you and then get, it's a surprise. So you could get like a, a less expensive wine or you could get no, one who's a really we, good wine? It, it's the it? same dollar it's the same dollar amount. The minimum. The, the, yeah, minimum. the minimum is the buy-in. Okay. But then it goes all the way up to whatever somebody's expense, willing yeah. to donate. And yeah. I know of some $80 bottles of yeah. wine that will be in there. And so, exactly. Yeah. And then yeah. one bag will have a dollar bill in it. Can I say the amount? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, fifty dollar bill. So there'll oh, be nice. one with a fifty dollar yeah. bill. It's just kind of randomly placed, and people mm -hmm. will be able to like, it's like yeah, have that extra chance. Now I can go of buy a whole bunch of sheep wine. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> there'll be photo ops. Oh, fun. With the oh, bond with the, men with and the women. Mm -hmm. Yep, those are those are yeah, gratis. Yeah, that'll be can popular. Just Snuggle up and cuddle up and get their photo <laughs> taken. And then we have the balloon flights too. Balloon so flights, buy that's a balloon. Right. And associated with it is a gift card. Exactly. And then we'll have a photo booth that has a backdrop of Monte Carlo. Well, you have a lot of stuff oh, going on. Oh, you'll be busy lot. all yes. night long. Yes. Yeah, that it's time's like going we have a okay. <laughs> we have a 50-50 and if 20 tickets, they get a, a, an yes. elegant bling ring that has three it, settings. I know, right? You've been playing with this all night, haven't you? Yes. <laughs>
It's not working as well in that finger as it did the other. <laughs> um, lots yeah. of fun opportunities yeah. to just opportunities. Good, good. smile and enjoy. We have signature drinks. May I mention oh, nice. those? Yeah, yeah, sure. So we have yeah. Spy on the Go, which is the scotch and soda, of course, Sean Connery's <laughs> favorite, right? Shake and not stirred. Yeah, that's right. We, we have Bond's yeah. Vesper yeah. Martini, mm -hmm. which is, of course, the yeah. shake and not yeah. stirred with a yeah. slice of lemon. And then we have the... Monte Carlo Cosmo, which is a Ooh, raspberry puree. Yeah. yeah, it's lovely. So, but of course, it's a no host full, yeah. full bar. Yeah. People that can get what like they fun. want, what they enjoy, mm -hmm. alcoholic yeah. or not. Mm -hmm. well, so, before you know, we run out of time here. I want to talk a little bit about about where the money goes. And you have a um, sure. a video that I think yes. we should take a look oh, at. Indeed. that kind of explains oh, where some of that money's going. You right? bet. Okay, thank let's you. Take a look at that. I was able to buy Pampers and milk for my daughter, and I was able to pay for a partial, um, for payment on part class. So once I graduate, I would really m like to be an advocate for children in the school system and help them and their families get the accommodations that they need and deserve. I chose social work as a course of study because um, it's always been a passion of mine. What motivates me most is my 13 and 9 year old. To show them how you work through life's um, struggles, ups and downs and just keep on going. I have a lot of dreams. Uh, one in particular is to help women and children cope with child molestation. impact that this award has had on our lives um, and on feelings of empowerment has been huge. chokes me up. <laughs> Indeed, right? Yeah, it's yeah, just it amazing. It does choke me up. These it's, awards are amazing. Yeah, yeah, it makes such a huge difference. Indeed. So, so quickly, the mm -hmm. Live Your Dream Award can be spent on anything, as uh, SIF Gresham members talked about earlier, right. uh, diapers, transportation, tires, whatever it takes to help them be successful yeah. with their dream and their goals of uh, earning a, a more, more skills and knowledge to to better their to earn a, a higher wage so that they can live yeah. a more sustainable life yes so the only thing I'd like to mention now is the dream it be it program it's dream it be it career support for girls mm -hmm. program right. and it's about helping girls become more resilient offering mentoring opportunities to talk about what they want to do after and it's a wonderful program mm -hmm. I was involved in it mm -hmm. here in the yeah. Gresham and it was yeah. wonderful and you and the girls are so grateful mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. yeah it's really it's one of those things you you are a member of the Strathmore you put into it you know, what you put into it is nothing compared to what you get back out of it. That's and you so know you're making true. a difference. It so, is. Mm -hmm. so, so people are interested in becoming a Throftmas, if they're interested in going to your uh, the Casino Royale Extraordinaire, mm -hmm. I highly encourage them to do that. It sounds yes. like it's going to be great fun. It's going to be great fun. Yeah. So we'll yeah. have the website information so they can check into getting a ticket and come Appreciate join you it. and have a great time. Yeah. Thank you join so us. much. Yeah. Join yeah. us for an evening of elegance. There <laughs> We're you excited. Go. That sounds Thank wonderful. You. Thank you both mm -hmm. so much. Thanks, Don, and thank you, Pam. It's always a pleasure having you here at Andam. 
It's, a, it's been lovely. So we'll see you um, next month. Excellent. Okay. Thanks so much, Monica. Monica. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. And thanks for watching Community Hotline. I hope you uh, found some fun things that are coming up that you want to get involved in or perhaps actually participate in um, as a, as a um, sponsor, a donor, a um, member. There's a lot of opportunities out there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you here next week. Hotline is made possible with generous support by Quick Lane, located at Gresham Ford. Life is better in the Quick Lane, now serving all makes and models, foreign and domestic. And by the Mount Hood Cable Regulatory Commission. The Mount Hood Cable Regulatory Commission advocates on behalf of the public interest on communications policy issues at the local, state, and federal levels.